Good morning. I'm Mr. Gilbert, your school nurse, and I'd like to take a few minutes this morning to talk to you about the flu virus and pandemic flu. And what a better time to talk about this than right now, where last week alone we experienced a record number of student absences here in our SLU community. Now, many of you may not be aware of what flu pandemic is, may not know what to think, or maybe not even be concerned about this. But what is concerning is that experts do believe that sometime in the future, a pandemic outbreak could strike again. Due to the fact that we have not had a pandemic outbreak since the late 60s, experts believe that it could be sooner rather than later. If this outbreak were to happen, millions of people around the world could get sick or even die from a new strain of flu virus. This could have a devastating effect on you, your family, and your community. The next flu pandemic can start anywhere in the world and with very little warning. And with modern day technology making it easier and easier for people to travel around the world, diseases like the flu can be carried very quickly from country to country. Once a pandemic flu strikes, it is very possible that it could come in waves affecting different communities in different ways. Because the flu pandemic tends to occur in cycles, and because we have not had any major pandemics over the last several years, experts believe we are now due for one soon. It is important that we prepare now in order for us to save lives in the future. It is important that we understand that we must learn, plan, and protect. So what is the difference between seasonal flu and pandemic flu? Seasonal flu is a contagious respiratory disease that is caused by influenza viruses. Seasonal flu can cause serious illness and even death, and it poses a risk for people with weak immune systems. However, seasonal flu is usually not severe in most people because they have already been partly protected by having had a similar flu virus before. Pandemic flu is different and can be much worse. Pandemic flu can create a worldwide outbreak and be passed very easily from person to person because there is no immunity. Pandemic flu occurs when a new flu virus goes through changes, otherwise known as mutations, which creates a new virus that the body has never ever encountered. And because of the ease of a new virus being passed from person to person, it can travel quite quickly over long distances to millions of people worldwide. So what are the symptoms of seasonal flu and are they that much different from pandemic flu? Seasonal flu symptoms include coughing, fever, fatigue, headache, sore throat, stuffy or runny nose, and muscle aches. Pandemic flu symptoms may be more severe versions of seasonal flu symptoms and may include symptoms not usually seen with the flu, such as diarrhea or fluid-filled lungs. How do you treat pandemic flu? The treatment for pandemic flu is usually similar to that of seasonal flu. It includes staying home to avoid spreading it to others, drinking lots of fluids, getting plenty of rest, taking pain relievers like Tylenol to relieve fever and muscle aches, and taking medication if a doctor feels it is necessary, especially if symptoms are severe and if medication is available and effective. While state and local governments and many other organizations are working hard to prepare us for the next flu pandemic, we must take action and assume some personal responsibility for our own safety. There are simple steps that you and your family can take to protect yourself against the spread of flu, whether seasonal or pandemic. The first line of defense is to practice good hand washing. Washing your hands is a simple and very good way to stop spreading germs, including those that cause the flu. You should always wash your hands after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose, before and after helping a sick person, before and after handling or cooking food, before serving or eating food, after using the restroom, after touching animals or cleaning up their waste, after doing unsanitary chores like cleaning the bathroom or handling trash. Next, we need to make sure that we practice cough and sneeze protection. When coughing or sneezing, move and or turn away from others. 
Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue, paper towel, or other barrier, then throw it away. If you do not have a tissue, use the crook of your elbow or your sleeve. Do not use your hand. After coughing or sneezing, always wash your hands with soap and warm water. And finally, it is important that we clean and disinfect areas that are used by many different people to avoid the spread of germs. Countertops, sinks, doorknobs, tables, and telephones are all surfaces that should be disinfected on a regular basis. Personal items such as toothbrushes, drinking cups, straws, cosmetics, eating utensils, washcloths, or any other items that have been near a person's mouth or nose, including cell phones, should not be shared. I certainly appreciate you taking the time to learn more about the flu virus and pandemic flu. I hope this information was helpful, and I hope that you take the necessary steps to assure that you are keeping yourself safe for the remainder of For additional information, you can contact your local public health agency or contact the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services at www.dhss.mo.gov. Click on Pandemic Influenza or call 1-800-392-0272.